So that's for your precision dies, for doing your glitter writing, for doing your um, foiling as well which is perfect. Uh, this is a staple. Your red liner tape is your staple. And Lou was using red liner tape at, in the early show, previous show. £14.99, pence, saving £6.750340 is your item number. Hello, everyone on Facebook Live, because you've come back. Yeah, we cut out for a bit, and YouTube as well. So uh, welcome um, on your return. Hello. 750340 is your item number if you want to go for your sticky stuff which is a good terminology, sticky stuff. So that's your red liner tape and your quickie glue pens as well. Absolute essentials. Now, I like this, I like this. You've got your A6 mixed box. It's a little bit of everything. And you get 605 sheets. Oh my word, that is a lot. Do you know something, do you know what I wanna do? I just wanna do this. I just want to, I don't know why, but I just want to do that just to divide the white up for you at home because we don't want it to be as the snow is a white out we want to be able to see there you go so you've got your super smooth that went on the top um, this is your super smooth I tell you what I'm going to do some die cutting with these in a moment's time because um, I just want to show you how they all die cut out so that's your super smooth so I'll keep one of those this is your now your rainbow mirror oh my word i love this i love this looking down onto this with all the lights here in the studio amazing you can see there the different colors in the rainbow just having that settled imagine that on a card or maybe the backdrop to a little box for example you'll see the colors wherever you are in the room i love that and when you get that card watch this look at the isn't that amazing that effect that is really cool how they do this I don't know but it is absolutely amazing there you go beautiful uh, we'll keep one of those uh, and then you've got your watercolor card again an excellent size for maybe putting a flower on there spritzing with water you can see the texture on there it is a great size and then you've got your true black which is black through to the very core black through to the very core we need to show you that so you can see that would actually look quite good on the mirror card maybe oh my word that's the northern lights just there can you see that that's a mountain and there are you not oh my do you like that either that or there is a rave going on but there won't be a rave because otherwise you'll see lots of blue lights going over there uh, no this is the northern lights oh i think i've oh, do you know what I think that's a work of art. I might need the collow glue or the, no, I'm going to use the quickie glue to glue that to there. Yep, definitely. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm going to do some die cutting next. Uh, but whilst I get set up for that, let's see how you can become a Freedom member. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Right, I find myself here. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what. Super smooth. Let's get some of this. I've got some pens here. So this is your A6 Super Smooth. What shall we do? Let's get some green and let's get the chisel pen. Uh, so Super Smooth will take um, all your mediums. It will take watercolour, alcohol markers. Uh, it will take your inks. It will take your embossing powders. It's absolutely fantastic and it's a staple. And within this deal, because you're getting, my word, you're getting so many, 605 sheets in total. Uh, let's just do some stripes on here. Bear with me, bear with me. So some green stripes. Let's get some blue stripes on here as well. So you can see um, it's taking the mediums very, very well. Let's just put some blue stripes on there as well. Probably some blue under there, blue there. 
And then, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a die. And I've got some dies here. Uh, let me get... Let me get this die. Now, I might just do another green line. I'm wondering if our lovely floor manager, Matt, might find somewhere for me, um, like um, what you call a pokey tool, a pokey tool, Matt, if you've got one. Um, let's just get a bit more. I'll tell you what, let's do that. Right, so I've got the colour on the card, and what I'm going to do is just going to put a die on that colour. But you'll see with the card, it's taken the colour really well. It's super smooth, so it's going to go through the die cutting machine. So I'm winning at this one, I hope, or winging. Uh, right, let's get your die cutting machine, put the die in there. And it's not, it's not bled out or anything, which is really, really good. So we'll pop that there. We'll pop that on top there. I might need an extra shim, which I haven't got. So I'll just use a bit of card. Use a bit of card. Go through. Hear that crack. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Bring that back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully this has worked. Yes, it has. Now, I need... I need something quite thin and pokey to get that out. I could try using this dinosaur tail because sometimes you've just got to... Oh! I'll have a pin. Thanks, Matt. So I'll just... Well, I used that. Oh, we've had a picture in. Oh, they're not ready yet. Oh, just pass me the pin then. Uh, we'll do this safely. Don't worry, we'll sanitise and all of that. Okay, so... Uh, let me just poke this out. So remember, this was your uh, super smooth card that I used, and I used the alcohol markers on there, um, and I did some stripes, and there you go. There you go. Do you like that? So I was using super smooth card, just put some different colours on there, stripes, and there you go. We've got a seahorse with a die cut out, which is great. So that's your super smooth card. It will take any medium very, very well. Um, I've also used some of the black card as well with a... Um, there you go. Can you see that? Something white. There you go. Uh, so that is your black card, which is great. Um, and I also used... Let me just get this out. I also used... In fact... You stay there. Let me just grab a bit of the black card. And you just stay on the shot of the dinosaur, and I'll grab a bit of that. OK. Um, then I got the mirror card and did a dragonfly. And look how lovely that looks on the black card. If I just open that up. There you go. So imagine... Can you see that mirror card? You see? Isn't that gorgeous? Even when you cut the mirror card um, into a piece like that, it's capturing the light and you're seeing that lovely dragonfly uh, with all those colours on. It's pretty cool. And that looks really nice, actually, against the black. Same technique on the watercolour, but just using some um, alcohol markers on that and then using that to die cut through. So that looks beautiful on that true black. Do you see the benefit of having the true black now? How beautiful that is, especially when you're using that mirror card. I think that's a great idea to use your die cutting with the mirror card because it means you don't have to use necessarily many colours on there because the colours are already in there with that mirror card so absolutely perfect um shall i just do one more die cut yeah let's do it let's do it what shall i do let's get some mirror card out and pop that there and let's get the butterfly let me get the butterfly and then let me get the dragonfly and let me pop that on there and let me pop that there is that is that the right way round? actually guys i wonder is there a right or wrong way Tell me this, for die cutting. So I've got the mirror card facing up and I've put the dies on like that. Or would I cut that way? So I think it needs to be that side, doesn't it? I think it needs to be that side. You live and learn, you live and learn, you learn and live. Let me... No, do you know what? It's the other way, isn't it? Yeah, no, that goes on there. No, it's the sandwiching I was thinking about. I think I might need a bit more pressure for a shrimp. Are you ready? Oh. In it goes. <laughs> Back it comes. Oh, I don't know why I'm laughing. 
you just sometimes you just have to, don't you? Uh, right, let's see what this mirror card looks like. Oh my! Oh, that's just come out. Let's just pop all those bits out, which is a bit tricky when you're not got your glasses on and you're using a big sharp pin. But it's all, don't try this at home. It's all good though. It's all good though. Uh, right, let's let me pop that there. Let's pop that in there. Let's pop that there. Pop that there now. There you go. This mirror card is just superb. That's your butterfly. Imagine that with your dragonfly and those beautiful colours. Can you see that? But then when you put the black behind it, how gorgeous are they? And that's using that mirror card. So your mirror card is more than just matte and layering. Use it for your die cutting. Use it to bring that fantastic colour out. Now, we have had confirmation from our Andy. Thank you, Andy, for calling in. Always die cut into the face of the mirror card because it will give you a clean edge. If you do it from the other way, it'll be a bit raggedy. So have I done it the right way? I've done it the right way. So always cut into the die cutting. I did think um, that was the case. So thank you for phoning in, Andy. Let me just cut that last bit out. And then I've got that bit there. I do think for your die cutting, for any kind of um, butterflies or dragonflies, for example, your mirror card, your mirror card is just sensational. It takes on a whole new perspective, doesn't it? Love that. Love that. So there you go. So use your mirror card for your die cutting and get some amazing results just by die cutting the shapes out. Love that. Uh, right, we've had some pictures in and these are from Kat. She's she's making a greenhouse. Oh, a miniature greenhouse. Cat, that looks like a proper big greenhouse. Is it cat? Yeah, cat. That looks like a proper big greenhouse. That's amazing. Now she's used the collar glue from Pink Frog. It's got a light in there and everything. That really is truly amazing. I love that. Will you come round and build one for me? <laughs> An actual big greenhouse. And look at all the miniatures that uh, Kat's making. That is superb. We really like that. We really like that. Um, it, I just find that fascinating. It looks like it looks like a proper greenhouse. I thought it was. I thought it was. That is amazing, Kat. Thank you so much for sending in that picture. If you've got something that you've been working on, then please do, please do send that in. Right, I'm just gluing that and we'll leave that down there because that's a demonstration coming up in a moment's time. Right, let's head back to the top of the counter. Let's have a look at how much time we've got left on the happy hour. About halfway through. 29 minutes and 48 seconds left. Now, if you want to see my false hand again, please email in and let me know because I've got a great trick where I've... Oh, cat like my false hand. If you don't know what we're talking about, I'll tell you in a moment's time. Wait till we get to the A3. Actually, we could do it with the A4 as well because that looks, that looks false as well, doesn't it? it? It does, doesn't it? It's not just me. Come on. It looks false. It's, it's like a magician's hand. A magician always has their hand like that because it, it, it hides more. Um, Anywho's, landscape or portrait, super smooth. A4 in size. It's 160 sheets that you're getting here. So we'll work that out per sheet for you. 617168. You're super smooth. You'll see all our demonstrators use super smooth. It works out to be eight pence per sheet. Now with your super smooth, you can ink on here. You can use your acrylic paints, you can use your faux bleaching techniques, you can use your embossing powders on here, they look amazing. Um, you can use this for die cutting, you can use this for pencilling, you can use this for your crayons if you want to. Uh, you can also use this for your uh, inks, for inking on and blending, it's absolutely perfect, uh, which is great. Uh, somebody has just emailed him, was it Colin? Colin? Oh, Connor says it looks like a Thunderbird hand. It does. You're right. I was trying to think of it. And then if you've got two, it's like, it, it is. It, they, they do. That, that does not look like my hands, does it? Or is it just me? Look, if I just move them out like that. It doesn't look real. Listen, I, I know it's nine o'clock. I know I've got a job to do, but come on. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I've been having some right funny nightmares. Uh, if you want to go for this, £13.98, 617168. Uh, it is a fantastic saving and we're getting very, very busy. Um, you know the kind of nightmares that you wake up and you're like, oh, and then you just totally forget about it and then remember it two days later. 
Right, um, I have had quite a few shows where I've, I've been late for work. Oh no, that's been real. I have had, no I have. Uh, right, so uh, Kat used this to make and create the miniature um, greenhouse. I've just also used that to mat and layer the two pieces of card together. You know that black card? Look at that, That's mir this is coming up in a moment's time. True black, mirror card, glued together with the Colau glue, so that's not going anywhere. Northern Lights, look at that. And there's, uh, there's no battery, it's just a piece of card. Northern Lights, I think. Well, yeah, there is lots of lights in the studio, but it's the mirror card, isn't it? Do you know what? I think that is probably the best demonstration we've seen on this channel to date, ever, in the, in the history. Because that could then go on your Colau glue, and it would be the northern lights on your Colau glue. Uh, right, so your Colau glue, you get a litre, it's going to last you a long, long time. It's going to work on plastic, glass, wood, felt, leather, paper, ceramics. Oh my word, this, do you know what? I think this glue would be great for our producer's drawers. She was, Katie was, Katie was having difficulty with the front of her drawers. So I think this will stick them back together. So Katie is gonna try this. I think that, because is your, is your draw, are your drawers wooden? Yes, so I think that would work perfectly. £15.99 pence, you get one litre. Now, what we like about this is you can take, you can take the top off and you can decant it. You can decant it. Or place the top back on. This is how you safely use it. And you'll see that that white goes to the top. Nothing's going to come out. Nothing's going to come out, which is brilliant. Um, do you want me to put it above my head again? I need to, I just need to make sure, okay, yeah, okay, right, there you go, there you go, there you go, um, and then to open it up and not put it above your head, please don't, you just twist that in and that takes that white back inside and then that allows the reservoir to let the glue come out. It is transparent. It is transparent. Uh, 15 pounds. I would be a true professional. I'd just carry on. I'd have glue all over my head. I'd just carry on. 15 pounds and 99 pence, 227,990. Oh, actually, I might just put my other head on because I'm a bit like Wurzel Gummidge like that. Um, do you remember Wurzel Gummidge? Yeah, yeah. It was the crow, wasn't it? It was the, the crow, was it the crow master, the crow, Mr. Crow man, the crow, what was his name? The crow, email in studio. No, 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 Wurzel Gummidge was a scarecrow and Aunt Sally. I don't want to marry a dirty old scarecrow like you, Wurzel. No, it was, no, 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 Aunt Sally was not real. She was a wooden doll. Yes, Una Stubbs and it was a wooden doll. She was a wooden doll. Uh, big rosy cheeks. But the person that made Wurzel was the crow... The, the cr email in, studioachandler.com. The crow master, the crow, the crow maker. Anyway, quickie glue pens. Uh, we've got five for you. These are really handy. You're getting five of these. Um, so handy. When you take them off, I don't know whether... Yeah, that has got a little tip on it. Do you see that? Here we go. See that little tip? There it is take that off and that's how you then continue using it uh, I don't know if there's another one on the other one is there another one no that one's been done Catherine probably did that one last week oh here we go you ready take take that off there you go and that's it just keeps it protected you don't need to put that back on um, and you've got a really nice cool twist top like that and there you go you've got your five quickie it comes out blue so you can see where you've been <laughs> and then it will dry clear if only the world was like that. £12.49, saving £7.499. 194 is your item number for those. Right. We have got your beautiful water-coloured card. I've got this at home. This is what I use. I absolutely love it. I love it because it's the right watercolour card to use, and it gets great effects as well. Uh, if you want to do some bleaching techniques on here, absolutely fine. If you want to stamp on here and then use your watercolours, 
so beautiful, it really is. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, six six nine, seven. 8-0 is your item number, which is a fabulous deal, it really is. And you're saving £10. It's a happy hour deal. 22 minutes and 35 seconds left to get hold of your happy hour deals. But you do need to be quick and not miss out. It's a great way to stock up, to start getting creative as we head towards the spring. There you go. Right, we've got the highlight of the show next, and that's Janice's fake hands. Have we had any paper facts emailed in? No, no. All right. Here's, here's another paper fact for you. Uh, originally, the world record for folding paper was seven folds. Because every time you fold it, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. It's very difficult. Um, and then I think the world record, if I remember, Deborah emailed in in the earlier show, I think it was 13 times. I tried it. I got up to seven. Um, I could, I could, uh, you could do it with paper or, I think it's the same. Um, I don't know too many details. I'm just trying to fill time. I'm only kidding. Uh, I might, I might try it. I don't think it matters what size card. Anyway, it does have to be folded in half, yes, because it's, it's doubling up. Anyway, this is your A3 inside. You get 40 sheets of your A3, and then you get 80 sheets of A4. Now, you, now it is inkjet and laser printable, and it's 300 GSM. It's super smooth, and you're saving eight pounds on this deal. It's a great deal. Now, some of you may notice that these aren't my hands anymore. Look, it's it's true. That's really weird. Back. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going to have to do this properly, I'm afraid. <laughs> they d Look, they're not... Look, they're not my hands. <laughs> they are not my hands. But it also shows you how big that card really is. Look at this. It's like perspective, isn't it? Look, not my hands. That's weird. <laughs> Ready? They're not my hands. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Sometimes, but we're very, very busy for this bundle. Um, so lots of people are adding this to the stash. Um, they just want to see my my hand tricks. Uh, it's called the Chrome Man. That's it. Thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. The out of context. Right, I will explain. We were talking about Wurzel Gummidge earlier on. And I wanted to know, um, the crow, it was, it was called the Crow Man who made the Scarecrows. And Kaz emailed in. Thank you very much, Kaz. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, right, if you wanted to draw a picture of the Crow Man on my fake hands, uh, then A3 would be the best size to do it. Super smooth. It takes all your mediums. It's absolutely fantastic. With the A3, of course, you can start folding that down to smaller sizes if you wish. 462614 is your item number. Now, we've got some Oyster Pearlized card for you. Uh, this is also a fantastic deal. Everything from Pink Frog Crafts is superb quality. So treat yourself while we've got everything at the happy hour price. 299000 is your item number. And you get 50 sheets. Now we've got super smooth with pearlized envelopes. 11 99 You get 50 sheets and 50 envelopes. £18 and 36 pence. No, it's not £18.36. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I still, so it's the measurements. 18 by, 18 by 36 centimetres, not £18.36. Pence. Oh, my. Oh, I need to go sleep in a poppy field. Uh, saving £7.50, it's only eleven ninety nine. That is a great deal. That is a great deal. Uh, right, we've got some mirror card for you. I love the mirror card. I love the mirror card. In fact, I've done some die cutting there. I wonder if I could get the die cuts with the butterfly that's on the black, uh, on the back. I'm just, if, you, if you have a look there, I'm just going to collect them. I'm going to get my butterfly and my uh, dragonfly because I want to show you something which is amazing. Uh, so, we've got your mirror card, okay? And this is your beautiful gorgeous mirror card um, which is so super smooth 
So you could use this to start matting and layering. You can see just there. It's great for construction. Of course, you can make boxes with this. And if you've got a scoring board or you've got um, a scoring tool, you can start to add those lines in. Now, I do need to tell you that with, is it with these? With the last two items that we saw on stills, you are getting instructions on how to make boxes. That's with the pearlized card, pearlescent card, pearlized card, and the unscored card with the envelopes. You are getting instructions how to make boxes. But if you do want to get hold of your silver luxurious mirror card, $9.99, great deal, 680237 is your item number. We've had an email in. We've had an email in. Uh, Cass has sent us in some facts. So your first paper fact, paper, yes, paper was invented in China 2,000 years ago. Yeah, 2,000 years ago. And it was originally made from hemp. It was originally made from hemp. And then it went to papyrus and animal skin. Uh, which is what they used for the original parchment as well. Now, here's another fact from Cass. One pine tree can make over 80,000 sheets of photocopying paper. Wow! And the average office worker handles around 10,000 sheets of paper every year. Cass, you are a genius. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow! Wow, so just goes to show, recycle, recycle, recycle. That's your mirror card, £9.99. pence. I've just realised it's the other mirror card that I did my die cutting in, so we'll move on. Uh, we'll move on. Uh, we've got some watercolour card for you. This is my favourite size, A5 size. It's a great size for doing little landscapes, for painting flowers on, or, I'll tell you what else this is good for, if you fold that over... And then you had another uh, piece on top of that and keep going and keep going. You could actually make a little tiny, well it wouldn't be little and tiny, but you could make a little journal. So keep folding them over like that, get, um, do a score down there, maybe get some rope, or not rope, uh, like twine, put that round there. You could make holes in there and you could lift that up. Anyway, you would be able to make a little tiny uh, booklet which is great you could make a paper airplane out of that as well there is a fact for paper airplanes I think the furthest the record the furthest a uh, oh I nearly fell over then uh, the furthest a paper airplane has gone I think it was somewhere in the region of 69 meters or it was 61 meters something like that there is a world record for uh, paper airplanes. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, right, 747203 is your item number. You're getting 100 sheets in total, top quality, for 9 99 We've had another picture sent in. It's not ready yet. We'll see. If... <laughs> so I keep seeing it, and then I'm like, oh, we've got a picture. As a rule, apparently, until my director tells me, I've got to shut up. <laughs> Those are the very words. He said, as a rule, Janice, I'm your director, just shut up. <laughs> he didn't, it was my producer that said it. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. Uh, right, <laughs> 747203, that's for your watercoloured card. Right, we've got some red liner tape for you. Um, this is great value for money and it's great for your constructions, great for putting together your mat and layering. You are getting 90 metres and it's equivalent to 18 standard rolls. So you've got three. Now here's the thing, 30 metres on each, they do come beautifully packaged. Keep them in the packaging because they're very strong and very sticky and you don't want them sticking together. That's why they come individually packed. They're the same size. That's important because we know that you like 6 mil or you like 12 mil and you want the size that you use the most, which is 6 mil. Here you go. You're also getting the three quickie glue pens. Now I'm just going to uh, grab a bit of black card. I've got some here. I want to show you that these quickie glue pens go on so I've got the top on goes on blue I don't know if you I'm just going to wiggle that around can you see that's blue probably can see it better on white so let me get some super smooth 
You can see that? Yeah, uh, that dries clear. So it goes on blue so you can see where it is. So if you want to add any glitter or if you want to add any uh, foil, you can do. You know where it is, but do you know what? It's going to dry clear, which is amazing. Right, the picture, I'm being told, is now ready for you to see. It's from Jackie. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, Jackie, that's beautiful. And Jackie's just finished that project. Oh, that is lovely. It's a little pouch, um, and the embroidery on that is sensational. In fact, I think that's that technique where you put your... It's from Sewing Chanting, but I think that the toweling technique is used where you put that needle through. Needle punching, I think it's called. That looks absolutely amazing. I really like that. That is lovely. I love the birds and the butterflies. Uh, right, 750340 is your item number if you want to go for your quickies and your uh, red liner tape. Right, now these are great. Love these, love these. You've got 605, 605 pieces of card. Super smooth your mirror card, you've got your watercolour and your true black. And this is where we did the little demonstration earlier on today using the true black. We ripped it in half to show you it's got a true black core. I then stuck it to some of this mirror card and guess what? I've come up with the northern lights just like that. That is amazing. I know I've smudged some glue in the corner but that's where the false hand comes in and holds it. But doesn't that look like it does, doesn't it? The Northern Lights. I think I've just come up with a great idea for a card. And you're getting all the card stock you need to do that. 045296. And if you want to use that mirror card as well, just to show you here, to cut out some die cuts. Doesn't that look beautiful? You don't have to do anything. You don't have to ink it or anything or put any effects on there because the effects are already there for you. 045296 is your item number. That is a great price. £29.97, saving £21. Now, if you are buying quite a lot from us and taking advantage of the great prices if your basket comes to 60 pounds or more and you go oh no don't worry we'll divide the cost into two months interest-free payments here's the lovely leone to tell you some more flexi order has arrived at her chanda what is flexi order when you place an item on flexi buy in your basket you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Certainly does, it certainly does. Right, demonstration time. Oh, let's just have a play, let's ha just have a play because you know when you get cardstock home, you know, if you've got a die cutting machine, you want to start die cutting, you want to start colouring, and I'm going with the last pack that we've got where we've got watercolour, super smooth, and true black, and you've got your fantastic mirror cards, uh, rainbow mirror, which is brilliant, it really is. So, what should we do first? I've got some dies here. I know, let me do that demonstration again, which is good. I'll get, should I do a dinosaur? Now, let's see if we can work this together at home. What card would you like me to use? I'm not going to use the mirror card yet. Uh, I'm not going to use the black card. So I've got super smooth or watercolour. Super smooth or watercolour. Super smooth. I think I did the watercolour last time. So, let's get some colours on here. We're going to do, um, I've got a dinosaur die in here, hopefully somewhere. I'm sure I have. I've got a squirrel. Ah, oh, yeah, I've got a dinosaur. I've got two dinosaurs. So, um, instead of colouring it afterwards, I'm going to colour it before. I'm going to go for, I've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or I've got the uh, one that's, that's long, that eats vegetables. What's it called? Is it a Platosaurus? Oh, I know. He's the one that always hides. He's a Digisaurus. Sorry. Uh, right, do you think he saw us? Yeah, that's that's probably better joke. Uh, right, let's do some uh, green. Should we do greens or browns? B 
So let's do greens and browns. Um, so super smooth will take your alcohol markers. Super smooth will take your watercolors so beautifully as well. You can do your bleaching effects on here if you want to. I'm just putting down, laying down some colors, um, just mixing them up really. They don't have to match. It doesn't have to be um, any kind of artwork in particular because we're just trying to make up the colors. So we'll just do a bit there. And let's see how big. He's quite long, actually, isn't he? So let's get some more green down the end. Kind of making up a camouflage here, really, aren't we? Try this at home. Uh, this is a super smooth card. Of course, you know, I could stamp on these if I wanted to, but I don't have um, any stamps in particular. Uh, let's get some darker brown in there. Let's see if that... Let's just put a brown there. See if that's the length it should be. That will just about do it. I'm just going to put a bit more brown at the end here. Just keep it in the same length. Uh, we've got about two minutes left, so let me pop that on there and let's put that through the die cutting machine, shall we? Uh, let's put that on top. Have I got that the right way? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So let's pop that on there. Pop that there, and I think I needed an extra shim. Shimmy, shim, shim. Shimmy, shim, shim. Do I need? Ah, do you know what? No, let's just try it like that. Nah, that's why. I need I need to put that on there. I mean, I'm yeah. We've only got a, we've only got a minute and a half left. Oh my goodness! I didn't realise how close we were to the end. Um, there you go. Let's put that there. Hopefully, that will be the right sandwich. We'll soon find out. Let's take that through once. Take that back. I didn't hear any clicks, so let me just put that extra shim in there. It doesn't always click, doesn't always click. There you go, that's going through there. Just gets a bit of pressure. Little go fit. It's a good way of keeping fit, actually. Good way of keeping fit. Right, let's take that off. Oh, you know what I did? All right, ignore me. I think I've just embossed the dinosaur. Let's actually cut the dinosaur out. I did it the wrong way around. Did I do it the wrong way around? I did it. I, yeah, I must have done it the wrong way around. Let's do it that way around. <sighs> Maybe more pressure. Maybe more pressure. It worked last time. I've got 45 seconds left. Oh. Right, you have got until the top of the hour to get all the deals that are available for you. Um, super smooth, remember, we'll take all your mediums, which is absolutely fantastic. We've got some great deals for you. Uh, there we go. Let's cut it out. Ta da! There you go. That looks good, doesn't it? Just using some alcohol markers on your super smooth. It's got two little white socks at the front. Um, I think that was rather nice. That's really good. And it still feels smooth as well once you've taken it through your die cutting machine. Um, great cardstock on the show. Thank you very much for the team for tonight. Uh, that's our last live hour here on Hochanda today. But we're back tomorrow live here in the studio at 8 a.m. But we've got some great repeats for you all the way through the night. 8 a.m. We'll be back. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. will be back. Oh my goodness, we're back at 7 a.m. Of course. Uh, Creative Nestables One Day Special coming up next. Oh my word. Uh, we've got great shows coming up. We'll see you at 7 a.m. live. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi. I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. 
make sure you come and watch us on Vichanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on a chanda. everyone I hope you're well it's time for the second live hour today of the one day special and almost a third of the stock has gone every day here on her channel we launch a one day special we have fantastic collections for you at a reduced price for 24 hours so we're always very busy on the launch hour and we continue to be busy with this set of nesting dies Details on your screen, 876850, that is your item number. You've got your slimline and your DL, two very, very popular sizes at the moment. £80.93 is your freedom price, but guess what? Yes, 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 we will divide that cost for you, making it easier for you to budget. £26.98 today, then another £26.98 in a month's time, and then another £26.98 a month after that. We're splitting this over three months, which is brilliant. Brilliant, isn't it? Now you've got 54 dies in total and you've got some really interesting finishes to your nesting dies. You can mix and match these but I'm not alone on the show. Oh no, no, no. We mix and match our presenters and guests and we have a fantastic guest with us. We've got the lovely Lou. Hi Lou. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good, Lou. It's good to see you. Um, I feel like I haven't worked with you for yeah. ages, but I love working with you because you've got great inspiration. You've got wonderful ideas for us as well. Uh, and we've got some great demonstrations coming up. But can we talk about nesting dies and the sizes that we've got here? Because normally we see the larger nesting dies, but these are really popular sizes at the moment, aren't they? 
Absolutely. So DL Shape has been around for quite a while now, and it's almost done full circle. It's coming back into fashion. Um, and then that spurred on the even more contemporary and modern Slimline Shape, which is what we've got the two of here. They work really well together, as we've got the similar finishes to many of them. Um, but by having nesting dies, you're going to be doing your card bases. You're going to be doing frames. You're going to be doing apertures. You can do really neat matting and layering of any of those shapes but then you can use these as well to fold into card bases that are smaller for example you can make pockets from them you can make uh, little albums from them they're, they're never ending they are a staple that you'll just use all the time you know you're quite right and having these all at the same time you can buy them in individual pairs and individual sets but I think having them all especially when we divide the cost over three months to budget it means you've got them it's it's almost like a one-time purchase isn't it Lou once you've got them mm -hmm. you've got them and they're gonna last you a very very long time and enable you to be very creative like you say absolutely so um Beginner crafters often sort of say to me, I've just got a die cutting machine, what's the first dies I should buy? And I always say to them, go for your nesting dies, go for your basic shapes, uh, then you can work, you can add to that. But that's your base, isn't it? That's your blank canvas for your cards then. Um, but as we can see from the examples that we were just looking at, you're not just using them as your matting and layering and things like that, are you? You can use it for so much more. Yeah, you really can. Uh, we've got some beautiful finishes on your nesting and laid uh, dies. We've got your straight edge. Um, and if you want them individually, the details will be at the bottom of the screen as we go through them. So those are your straight edged um, nesting and layering dies, which are fantastic for your apertures. Great for building mini pages, maybe DL pages for a scrapbook if you want to, or maybe for your journaling. So those are your straight. You've got 11 and 9 dies in those particular sets. So you've got the difference in sizes. The next set we've got are your scalloped edges, always, always very, very popular. And these are beautiful. They really, really are. You've got your two different sizes in sets of seven and six. Details at the bottom of your screen, 24.98 if you want to go for those, 13 in total. And then you've got my favourite, the stitched edge. Oh, my goodness. These can change just an ordinary aperture into something quite extraordinary. Great for your vintage style cards as well as your modern. Details again at the bottom of your screen, 507870, £24.98. Uh, you've got... I don't think you've got 15 dies in that set, have you? Looks like 11 to me, 5 and 6. Yeah, so five and six, that's 11 in that particular set. And then the final one for you um, is, is there's 10 dies in this one. But on this one, you've got that lovely stitched edge still, but you've got the slim line. And then you've got that wavy line. Again, I've not seen a nesting die set like this, but again, it's a great addition to your crafting stash. If you want to go for it separately, £24.98. But of course, the full collection, nearly a third has gone. 876850 is your item number. Freedom members, you are saving an extra 10% on top of that saving with you one day special and if you want to become a freedom member today it is a why not deal so by becoming a freedom member today at five pounds and 97 pence the saving is 18 pounds and 99 pence so it's a why not deal you might as well become a freedom member to make that saving because it's greater than the saving if you weren't eight seven six eight five zero right so we've got more for you on the show we've got a great set of stamps we've got a paper pad and we've also got a stencil here for you you really really love these we'll bring the details up on the screen then we'll have a word with our Lou saving five pounds 33 pounds 95 pence but you've got the whole complete collection here Lou this is excellent value for money isn't it Oh, it, it is, and it's so pretty as well. It's really beautiful. Perfect for coming into spring as well. Uh, the sentiments, they're those mixed font ones, the bold fonts mixed with that sort of uh, scripty font there as well. Um, some really, really generic sentiments you're going to use all the time, like happy birthday and just for you. And then you've got some really nice ones in there as well, like butterfly wishes, for example. Um, thank you for being you. I really like that because you can send that at any time. And, and really... then we've got, sorry. Sorry, I was going to say it's lovely font on there as well, but we're moving on to, the, to this beautiful stamp set here. Isn't this lovely, Lou? 
Oh, it's gorgeous. I, as a child particularly, I loved dandelion clocks. I'd pick them and blow the, blow the little pieces around all the time. Um, but this is so pretty. So we've got the bubbles on there as well to create that bouquet effect, if you want to, which is very trendy at the moment. Um, and that, of course, matches perfectly with our stencil too. And the stencil, that's, gorgeous, uh, that's going to enable you to create some lovely backgrounds. And with stencils, Lou, you can use as much of the stencil you like, or you can just use parts of it, can't you? Oh, absolutely. I'm hoping in this hour I get to do uh, a stencil demonstration, actually, with that. So, um, and that's exactly as you said. I'm not going to be using the whole thing all at once. I'm going to move it about a bit and build up some layers. Then we've got the beautiful the butterfly stamps that we're seeing here, Lou. Again, mixing with those dandelion clocks. Very clever, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is a detail that you might actually blink and you miss it almost, those little butterflies on the end of the dandelion clock there. But the, the, the detail that is inside of these butterflies is stunning. If you love colouring in your stamped images, this is absolutely perfect. But these just embossed in a gold or a silver or any colour, really, uh, picks out that detail perfectly. I mean, you can see those flowers in that top butterfly. They're lovely. It's extraordinary, isn't it? You've also got the paper pad as well, which work beautifully. And um, this is your, um, it's a soft focus effect, isn't it, that you can get in photography. And that's why you've got all of that yes. lovely soft focus in the background. You've also got the stamps that correspond and match that. So you can recreate that particular effect if you want to but they're so soft so delicate and beautiful colors as well especially heading towards the spring I'm thinking Easter mm. early summer for example perfect colors perfect images and perfect stamps to boot and what a great set this is to get 33 pounds and 95 pence that's for the full complete collection 953 314 is your item number absolutely love that you've got a little bit of everything your paper pad your stamps your stencil your sentiments you're good to go and that's a great price if you wanted to go with this and your one day special if you're liking anything else down the counter then we'll also divide the cost of that into three payments alongside your three payments for your one day special so let's say you did want to add this to your basket it's only another 11 pounds 75 pence today and then another and then another round about 11.75 anyway right let's head to our next uh, uh, stamp set these are absolutely Gorgeous. You wait to see the characters we've got here. <laughs> this is Daisy Me Design. Dotty about you stamp set. Daisy May Design. Um, a lovely set here, Lou. Aren't they cute? Oh, they're adorable. Um, they're all hand-drawn by Claire Rowland, who designs all of these. Um, and she's just so talented. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, that Dalmatian is adorable. So we've got lots of animal-themed stamps here, but this is actually um, Love is in the Air collection. So you've got a lot of hints towards Valentine's, uh, maybe missing people as well and things like that. But you can absolutely use this away from Valentine's, of course, because you can see you've got the dogs there. The dash hounds are amazing. I, I absolutely adore those. Um, we've got some birds in this one as well. So you are so tweet. Um, some birdie loves you. Things like this. The sentiments are really fun. Oh, they're, apps, they're so sweet. They're so gorgeous. And something for, yes, Valentine's Day. But also, like you say, Lou, just cards to say you love somebody, you're missing somebody. Or maybe a fun card for a younger member of the family because you've got those cute characters in there. And you've also got that lovely cart with the flowers and the cactus. I think thought of everybody with these designs. £33.99, pence, saving £3, £379.792. I mean, that little stamp just there with the envelopes and the love that would be great on actually on the back of an envelope if you're sending oh, uh, it to somebody. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Uh, right, we have got three options in our next set of dies for you. Uh, and these are your cross stitch dies so you've got your squares and circles at the top really like these Lou a little bit different because they've got it's almost like a torn distress look to them isn't there 
Yeah, these work so well with those Daisy May stamps that we just saw. They're very much Claire's style. Um, but of course, they're going to work with absolutely anything. You don't have to buy the stamps for these dies to work, of course. They're your matting and layering dies and your card shapes and your apertures and your frames and all of that again. But that detail is really special. And actually, when you ink around the edges of these cards, it really picks out that cross stitch effect. Yeah, I bet it does. Now, I don't know which is going to be my favourite. We'll have a look at the others and I might ask you the same question. So your first <laughs> set was the uh, squares and the circles. We're now looking at the hearts and the stars. £24.98. pence. Again, saving £3 on that deal. This is a great investment. I've never seen... Um, any nesting dies like this normally they're just straightforward they're squares they're triangles they're diamonds they're ovals these are different aren't they these are different with that lovely edge and detail cut into them 24 pounds and 98 pence again 667626 and the final set to show you oh i keep changing my mind about my favorites now but i'm gonna have to choose one uh these are you've got your tags here and those lovely beautiful aperture designs 2498 these are your tags and labels 667626 is your item number 2498 so Lou if I was to put you on the spot mm -hmm. which of these sets is your favorite I think it's got to be the last one we looked at because I love a shaped card and I think you could be making some really fun shaped cards with these. Yeah, you're right. Those are your tags and labels. I think my favourite, oh, I keep changing, it's got to be the Love Hearts and the Stars for me. That would be my favourite. And if we can't choose, we'll just have both of them and the price will just change accordingly. Uh, right, we're going to let Lou get ready for her first demonstration while we take a look at some inspiration. DL and slimline cards are becoming very, very popular. You know, we go through trends with furniture, we go through trends with clothing, with haircuts. Well, maybe not haircuts at the moment, but there are trends, aren't there? And with craft, the trend at the moment, and it's heading more and more that way, is going back to those DL and those slimline cards. And I think that particular style is going to stay with us for a couple of years as well. So this is a great investment for you. This is your one day special nearly a third of the stock gone freedom members that extra discount for you 876850 now we've got Lou live on Skype so what's the first demonstration Lou okay so I'm going to do I'm going to work with the slimline dies first uh, I'm going to be using the straight edge but with all of my demonstrations any of these nesting dies that I'm using you can actually use any of them it doesn't matter so the same effect you can use with the scalloped edge if that's what you love um, just one thing to note about these actually when you're looking at either the slimline or the DL you can take for example the scalloped edge and of course the straight edge or the stitched edge will fit absolutely perfectly inside for matting and layering so you don't have to keep to the same shape when you're building up your layers you can mix and match the different finishes around the edge which just makes them even more versatile but um, as you see I've got all of my non magnetic sheets because these are going to come out time and time again um, so I'm using the slimline um, straight edge but I've already cut everything out so I have got uh, that's one of the papers but that's for inside my card I've got two pieces of parchment or vellum that I've cut there and then I've also got a gold frame now the gold frame has been cut to the same outer border as the parchment and then I've taken the next size down and cut the inside out so I've then also got a rectangle of gold somewhere in my craft 
stash bits where all my little bits go uh, that I'll use another time. And then I've got taken it down a couple of notches uh, down in the sizes of the nesting dies to cut an aperture into a slightly larger uh, card base there. So I've done all of my cutting already because I want to get on with the uh, design part of it. So really, as you can see, the, the nesting dies are a staple. They're like a tool that you'll just you'll just use without thinking about for nearly all of your cards once you've got them in your stash. So the next bit for me, I'm just going to take um, a large acrylic block and I'm going to bring in, I should have these ready actually, but I didn't. I'm going to bring in some stamps. So these are beautiful. And I'm going to stamp onto the parchment using a black ink. Uh, now this usually takes a little while to dry, um, but what I'd do if I was doing a black ink, I would um, set it with a heat, uh, sorry, a clear embossing powder if I needed it to dry a little bit quicker. Um, but on each of my panels, I'm going to do a slightly different design, but with using these really pretty dandelion clocks. So I'll work on this one first. So I can pick those up like so. I'm going to just pop a piece of paper down just to protect my surface. This is just an old piece of paper because I'm going to stamp over the edge of the vellum there. Now the circle stamps in the set, Lou, um, they are like a lens blur effect or supposed to be used yes. in that way. But you can use them for anything, I guess. But I think that's really nice because I guess you can make some really cool effects in the background with them. Yes, yeah, so uh, bokeh is, um, I think it's, I want to say it's Japanese for the word blur. Um, and that's exactly what you get when you do blur, uh, the light goes into sort of these little circles and dots on your photos. You've probably seen it if you try to take a, a photo almost in the sunlight sometimes, you get that effect. And it's actually quite sought after now, isn't it? You get this filter on lots of the social media sites now um, with this effect. but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a blur and it's a very, very soft effect, isn't it? But really, really pretty. But then, like you say, you could use them as bubbles. You could use them as just a really sort of funky pattern for a background, particularly these circles. Um, I mean, for gentlemen's cars, for teenage cars, just stamping and embossing those maybe, I don't know, in gold or navy blue maybe yeah, um, that'd look good. and they're going to work really well sorry i'm interrupting you there no no i interrupt no <laughs> i was agreeing with you yeah that would look really nice yeah so you don't have to keep to um sort of your pastels and your, your pretties with this set of course they really will reach across lots of different genres so as you can see there i've just been stamping those dandelion heads they are just gorgeous. They're so delicate. They're really, really pretty. I've stamped them in um, Versafine. So on the parchment, that would take a little while to dry. You can heat set it to speed it up, um, but I've already got some that I've heat set, so I don't need to worry about that. So that's one. And then the other one I'm going to do, just make sure that's not, not wet. I'm going to bring in the other set of stamps, or rather the other stamps that are in this set and there's three dandelions and this is one step one stamp so it's not separated so you can really fill the background or um, do an image on a card very quickly with these but they do also look like fireworks if you wanted to use them like that for a celebration card maybe that's you a just good idea mask off the stems. yeah great especially if you emboss them as well Lou they they would look lovely Oh, yeah. If, if you were to emboss these um, in a different colour, so I'd do a little bit of mask, I think, and embossing one in pink, one in green, uh, one in yellow, and, yeah, that would look amazing. Or just uh, maybe gold and silver on black. Yeah. That'd be fantastic for things like, I know I know New Year's just come and gone, but hopefully next year we'll be having parties and things. So yeah. um, get prepared for that. It comes around every year. So there I've actually got two pieces of parchment with different um, dandelion images on them. But because I've used the parchment, when I put them together, we've then got, hopefully you can see that, we've got that sort of faded effect in the background to those base ones, which just gives you a bit of depth and dimension. It does. Now, Lou, actually, I was thinking with the bokeh effect, with the stamps, you've created 
just that. You could actually stamp in the background one of those circles and one in the foreground, and you'll kind of get that blurred lens uh, effect as yeah. well. So that is genius. Absolutely. And of course, you could add on another layer over the top of this that would fade the background out even more. That would then um, fade these slightly and you'd have another layer on. So you can keep building on this. And yeah. we've I've just used the dandelions. Like you say, you've got the circles in there as well. You've got butterflies in the other set that you could use. You've got leaves and things So we could have. Uh, from this set, we've got leaves that you could have um, floating through the air if you wanted to, to signify, you know, wind and things like that. Yeah, there's lots you can do with this. But I do have, I'll pop this to the side because I'll bring these ones in. Um, I have got a pair of the parchment stamped. But these ones I've heat embossed because I was in a hurry <laughs> and I didn't want to wait for it to dry. So I've just put clear embossing powder over those and I've stuck them together there with some um, clear like red liner tape. Love so that. that's all ready to go. It's really, really effective. How lovely. And like you say, you can use them as fireworks or you can use them as flowers. It's such a lovely image. Um, and now, just putting it together, it's really nice to actually section out your card making, isn't it, Lou? Sort of concentrate on one part, put that aside, concentrate on another part. You feel like you're doing something then. Absolutely. In fact, saying that, just before I stick this down, I'm going to try and be sensible and think about my layers. I want to stamp a sentiment and it's going to be a lot easier if I haven't got um, my, my things stuck down already. So I'm going to add a bit of dimension to them as I stick them. So um, I think uh, let's just use the phrase just for you. One of the smaller ones from the stamp set. We've got all sorts here. So we've got like you give me butterflies, which is one I used in the last hour. I love this big one here. Friend, such a simple word for one of the greatest necessities of life. Aww. And that's really sweet. It is. Very Especially much at the moment. So. Which, um, I was reading somewhere the other day, we're sending a lot more letters and cards now than we ever have done. Oh, that's lovely. Is, so we should. Yeah, so when you, yeah, absolutely. So when you want to speak to somebody, you just send a little card with a nice message like that on. Uh, so I'm just stamping down the bottom here just for you on there. And I'm doing that, like I say, because I want to add dimension here with foam tape. If I do that now, it's not going to interfere with my stamping. It's a really, really pretty brush lettered script as well. There we go. Pop that to the side. I'll clean that up in a moment. So, so I cut that. This is, um, it's, it's a gold glitter card, but it's a no shed one. So it's almost got a little more matte to it. So it's, it's a bit more sophisticated, I suppose. So that will go over the top in a moment. I'm going to put some more red line tape onto this. Now, I'm not sure where I got this red line tape from, but it's a little bit like a gel. So it's almost a dimensional red line tape. Yeah, uh, we've I'm got some sure red line tape still... coming up next, actually, in a, in, um, a happy hour deal. Um, oh, fantastic. Yeah, which might be looking at. I was going to ask you, Lou, What's the card weight that these dies will cut through? Bearing in mind we're creating apertures, um, what would you say is, is oh, the maximum? Probably um, about as thick as a card base would get. It's about 350. I'll easily go through um, that if you're doing one layer at a time, not yeah. a problem. Yeah, because they're simple dies, you haven't got to worry about the detail um, or anything getting caught. So, yeah, a re really, really good quality dies that will go through a nice heavyweight cardstock. Oh, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's when when dies are really detailed. That's when you need to start thinking. Oh, can I? Can how much can I do with that? Now I'm going to open my card base up because I've cut that aperture and I've purposely cut that a little bit smaller than the parchment. In fact, I've cut it. Um, smaller even than the inside of the gold frame. Okay. And that's because I kind of wanted to add an extra layer layer of white border behind the parchment. So I'm just going to hover this over and I'm hoping that I can see, I oh, see, I don't want to put my head <laughs> in into view, but I'm hoping that's kind of given me a little bit of a, a white border in there. And then I'm going to put my gold over the top so we've got more dimension through there. So this gold will just finish off that frame beautifully. Of course, it's the same size as the parchment. I cut it all from the same die. Being dies, we know they're going to be absolutely perfectly finished. Just take, so this is foam tape this time. So I've got my red liner tape on the parchment and then foam tape, if I can just get the backing off of this one. Come on. 
Oh, and that's, what, that's what makes that gold stand out, look quite thick then, having the foam tape on the back. Yes, so it really does just raise it up, gives it a bit of a drop shadow. There we go, and gives that a bit of a frame there, which is really pretty, um, framing that sort of silhouette that, or that image. Now, because that's white on white, I'm just going to bring in the blue. Now, this is one of those patterned papers yes. that we've got in the Apple Blossom pad, and I'm going to pop this on the inside of the card, and that will just help um, help you with the, the colour behind. See, I'll just cut that, and that will fit nicely in there adding a little bit of color because i've got no color as such except the gold on the front and that adds a little bit of color behind and then we've got that little see-through now you could do this with acetate as well with something like a stays on so that would look really pretty to have the blue behind and then the acetate um, again you could do it in layers and put foam tape between maybe between the acetate layers so you're sort of looking through the dandelions but oh, it's that's... just really pretty and just made easier with your nesting dies. Oh, it's so it's such a lovely, lovely card. And how easy was that to put together? I say easy. I mean, I'm standing here, you're doing it. But you've showed <laughs> us how to do that and inspired us to make the card as well. We'll come back to Lou uh, in a few moments' time. We are having a very, very busy show. Mm, we certainly are. Right. OK. Oh, no way. Sorry. It's I have my producer talking to me, so sometimes I get so... I'm like, no way. So I'm not saying no way to you guys. Uh, I'm being told that nearly half the stock... I said nearly a third. Now nearly half the stock has gone. We're getting very, very busy. This is a great set of dies to have. We are going to give you the details for the sets individually. But collectively, your one-day special, Freedom members, you are saving an extra 10% of your uh, savings. So, with your one-day special, the one-day special saving £10, but you're saving an extra, extra 10% on top of that. It's an extra 8 99 8768508580 is your item number. So, Freedom members, it's a why not deal. It means that if you become a Freedom member today and your Freedom membership will start today, you will make that extra 10% savings. So why not deal? That extra 10% is your Freedom membership. It makes sense. We'll also divide the cost over three months as well. Interest-free payments, really easy to set up. We don't need to phone you back or interview you or anything like that. All we need to do is get you to click a box on the website or just tell us you want FlexiBuy and we'll sort that out for you. So it makes it affordable. This is the kind of one day special that you've been waiting for. You want to get in your crafty stash and that's it. You're good to go. This is almost like the fuel for your crafting vehicle. Once it's in, off you go. £26.98, your first payment as a Freedom member. Very, very busy. Almost half the stock has gone. Now, if you just want the individual pairs, you're more than welcome to do that. We'll take a look at those for you. You've got the DL Straight Ledge, uh, Edge sorry, and the Slimline Scalloped die set. You've got 17 dies altogether. Limited stock though, £24.98. 308760 is your item number. So that's your first set, but we're limited stock. If you just want those two, get them in your basket and check on out. Make sure you get them. Right, the next two we've got for you are your DL Scalloped Edge die set. You get seven in that and you get your Slimline Sewing die set and you get six in there. So that's 13 and that's 336111, £24.98. Busy for those. Remember, DL is such a popular, popular size to have. Can I just turn this around just to show you very there you go. Just to show you the kind of scale that we've got with your nesting and lair dies. So that's a really good way of having a look at how the different sizes work. And then I'll turn that back around because that isn't to scale. Uh, right, the next set we're going to take a look at is your DL Stitched Edge. And that comes with your Slimline Straight Edge. That's 5078 Seven zero is your item number, just £24.98. Saving £3 on that deal, and that's 14 dies. 15 dies, sorry, in total. Um, and then, oh my goodness. Oh, we've sold out individually of the Stitch Torn Edge and the Slimline Stitch Straight Edge. The only way you can get these two, and they are lovely, is in the one-day special. 
Wow. I knew we were busy, but I didn't realise we were that busy. Um, it's a wonderful set to get, isn't it? You know they're incredibly well built as well, well designed for you. £89.92. £8 Considerable purchase? Ah, let's divide it into three months for you. Makes it affordable, doesn't it? So if your budget, let's say, uh, as a Freedom member, is £26.98 this month, there you go, you've got it. And we'll have another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that. Freedom members, triple eight, triple eight, your basket, five pounds and ninety seven. It's as easy as that to join. And then you don't pay any PMP on anything for a whole month. It's great. And then we'll get you to be a membership, uh, a member again for another month, unless you decide to stop. And then you just let us know. But it is a great way to buy. It really, really is. Um, half the stock now has gone of your one day special. Busy, busy, busy. At this rate, we probably won't have any left um, by midday tomorrow. Because, of course, we continue with the broadcasting throughout the night. We have repeat shows and people do buy throughout the night as well. Right, let's head back to Lou Collins live on Skype for a next demonstration. What we're going to have a look at next, Lou? Thank you, Janice. Um, we're going to actually go to the apple blossom. Um, I want to use this stencil, so we were talking about this earlier. I'm going to bring it onto this black for you, just so you can really see that detail, because obviously in the packet it's on white. So we've got in here the circles, um, different ones, outline ones and solid ones. So if you want to create that effect that we were talking about, sort of the camera blur, you can really do that with this. And just a quick tip, if you do this with, um, so if you ink yourself a background, Rounds. Usually darker colours works a bit better. A few different colours like maybe purples and blues and things and then go over with this stencil with a white or a very pale colour ink. You've instantly got that blurred background but that's not what I'm doing now. That's just another tip for you. I'm going to be working mostly with these ones here. Okay so pop that to the side because that was just to show you. Now I've got a piece of a5 cardstock but I put it onto a base for some reason I've forgotten to bring over to the studio here well, I was only two minutes from home but I've forgotten to bring over my resistant mat for my ink blending so uh, this is just going to protect my surface a little bit so you can see already I've done lots and lots of blending of this all um, before with the color that's on there I haven't given it a proper wash with soapy water I've just given Lou, it a wipe. could I ask yes. you a question would you be able yes. just to move up your artwork just a little bit further just a little bit more and we can see it better yes sorry that you've got to move your inks up yeah that, that's, that's okay. lovely Lou thank you Is that better yes lovely okay so I'm going to use a purple a teal and a blue which are like all my favorite colors um, and I'm not going to do the whole a5 piece because of course that's going to take a little while and you don't need to see me blending all of those. I'm going to give you a gist of what I did and then move on to an already finished and dried piece. So going through the stencil now, if I just lift that up, it's Ooh. really pretty. Yeah, straight away is, is gorgeous. And then I'm going to take one of the smaller ones and go back over the top of that. Now you don't have to do this bit of course, but uh, this is what I like to do. So I'm going to just go into my blue next with a dark dark blue and pop that over the top now they don't line up exactly because they're natural shapes but um you can get them reasonably well lined up so you get a little bit of damage oh, like and that. different colors in would there. you would you go so did you go light for the first layer and then darker for the second layer but yeah, um, because usually your lighter colours wouldn't show up otherwise, but mix it and match it because otherwise you just, so with this one I've got the blue there and then I'm going to do the teal over the top. So let me just uh, switch up my brushes and the teal is really a lighter colour than the blue. Um, but we'll still be able to see it between the gaps of the lines, even if you can't see it where it overlaps. So I'm actually using a brush blender as well, and I find these really helpful for detail stencils because it really helps to get in all the little nooks and crannies there. Uh, and I work in circles the same way I would if I was doing any sort of blending that gets in at all the angles. So you can just about see um, the effect there of the blue in the middle. Now, I'll just do one more. Um, let's do a teal since I've got my teal there, and I'm going to overlap them a little bit. So I'm not worried about mixing my inks on my stencil. I'm not cleaning it between goes. I'm just, just go with it. There, and let's do a purple from there over the top. This looks lovely, Lou. And it, it, 
when you're doing something like this, it's so satisfying because the stencils give you the exact look that you're looking for because you're not doodling and you're using the stencils. They look fantastic. Yes, yeah, so with this, um, I've got some bits where I've slightly gone over the stencil and things, but I'm not being too precious about it because I've used um, my blending inks. I'll just pop these away. Uh, so once I've covered the entire piece, what I then did was take some water, just water spray, and I just spritzed these lightly. And that started to allow them to bleed a little bit Ooh, so I, like I just really i just left that so i spritzed the whole thing i left it to dry air dry naturally if i just bring in one of course it does fade the ink as it dries so i've got one here that i've done so you've then got all your different colors with your hints of the that dandelion shape now i'm not looking at it looking like the dandelion clocks or the fireworks but i just wanted that starburst sort of pattern in the background it's just a little bit different there and it's i love really how the pretty. colors run together yes yeah, it's lovely. really really nice I'm gonna have to put that there somewhere where i'm not going to lean in it so okay. it's going to go on the floor um and my stencil as well because i need to i need to remember to clean it now um so this is going to go onto my card as you can see i've actually already cut that out now i've used the slimline stitched edge i believe for that but for my matting and layering um, i'm going to pick out that teal that peacock peacock feathers color um so i'm going to bring in all of my nesting dies i say all of them actually these only just squeeze on here. I need to find another magnetic sheet um, because I do back my magnetic sheets with board so they're not floppy and that's how they stay. So I need to do another one of these um, because I've got another set that even, although you're seeing all of these, I've got another set that didn't fit on here. So wow. there's, you're getting within that collection a lot of metal. Yeah, you are. Um, so all I'm going to do now is with them spaced out like this, I know this is a slim line straight, uh, sorry stitched straight it's that one so these are all my slimline ones and then to the right are all my uh, dl ones so this should fit nicely within a d a slimline one and i'm gonna go for scallop i think so if i cut that out just by hovering that card over the top i can see that's going to fit really nicely so okay. i can just pick that out you can of course do the same if i wanted to with the dl but you it'd be longer so i just have if i did it with the dl for example hopefully you can see this the top and bottom wouldn't match but i'd have a nice little border yeah. at, at the edge that finishes just before the top and bottom and sometimes it might be a look that you're going for so um it's well worth sort of having a play with the different variations so I put these all to the side. I need a sturdier folder as well. I was a little bit um, uh, surprised by how much that lot weighs. <laughs> so this is just fitting on my sheet of cardstock, which is lucky. Didn't measure that very well, did I? i just run that through. Now, I've purposely not bought in my really big die cutting machine today. I've got my smaller one. And this one is um the a5 sort of size platform just because i wanted to show everybody that you don't although they look really large some of these you don't need to have an a4 die cutting machine to use them so if you've got a smaller machine then you'll be absolutely fine just take peel this off gently pop my tape back there we go so within the scallop die here We've also got that sort of wave effect. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but yeah, so you could use that as waves or just as a really nice border on something else later on as well. So that's really pretty. And then this will fit really nicely. Oh, that, that looks it lovely. Works. Yeah, it works perfectly, doesn't it? Really does. So, so we can put our card together now. So bringing in a card base, I've got quite a large card base here. So that's going to frame that perfectly. We're going to glue these down. I'm not going to use foam tape purely because that would just take me a little while to stick it and be peeling it off. But I think when you've got layers like this, when you've got matting and layering, you don't really always need foam tape between your layers because the contrasting colours um, will actually lift everything up and separate those layers for you anyway. So just using a wet glue, 
and because I've got a little bit of a white patch here which is fine that's just where the color didn't reach uh, and I've got heavier color down here I'm, I'm putting it this way so that uh, I always feel like heavier pattern and heavier color should be at the bottom to make things don't not look top heavy yeah um, but although I've done that as a tall card it could also of course be horizontal if yeah. I wanted to it does it really doesn't matter it's, it's up to you however you feel it looks best Oh, I love that. Um, and it, it's it's so nice, isn't it, Lou? Like you say, you can have them DL, you can have them landscape portrait. It doesn't matter. They're both very, very effective and very, very on trend at the moment. These slimline cards, yeah. aren't they? They really are. That um, I've seen lots and lots of them about, um, and like you say, they're just everywhere at the moment. And there's some really beautiful, beautiful examples of them around if you go on these inspiration websites and things you'll find them everywhere um just bringing in my sentiment stamp so thinking of you today and always i'm going to use that one um picking it up i just want to stamp this as many times as it needs so i'm using my stamping platform um just a tip if you're new to stamping new stamps will often have a little bit of a coating on them so um, it's a good idea to take uh, an eraser, something like an eraser, and you can just brush over the surface and that will take off that coating and help your ink stay on your stamp. There we go. So I've just done that twice and I've got a perfect impression now. I'll just give my stamp a wipe very quickly. I'll pop that away later. So there we go. Thinking of you today and always. It's really, really pretty. I like that sentiment. Um, I've got one here already dried. I've trimmed it down and I've just added a border and that's of course the same border as, same colour border as the scallop one that I've got there. That one I think I am going to put down in foam tape there because it won't take me too long.